doing installments of a fiction story that Whitney is writing. We gave our input, we cheered, we booed, uh, but Whitney courageously gave the story even when she knew in advance that we might disapprove of the course of events that were taking place. And she, she is a generous person. She gave me tokens of appreciation throughout the school year. A lily that fits on the eraser of my pencil. The drawing of a Spanish dancer. And Whitney is also a sympathetic person. We must mention this. There was a major assignment we were doing, and she was concerned about the below average productions of the boys in the classroom. So she came to me and said, I just want to have a private word with you. You should grade those boys a little easier than girls because boys can't really help that they're not as creative as girls. <laughs> well, I didn't really agree with Whitney on that point. Case in point would be uh, Aaron Gawkwood. Aaron is a reader and a thinker, and he can speak about history or philosophy or current events or literature at a moment's notice. And more likely than not, he may be engrossed in the writings of J.R.R. Tolkien. Aaron likes to be challenged academically and to talk about ideas. He has a keen sense of humor and can see the irony, whether it's in life or in literature. Daniel Philippov. Daniel can run like lightning when he's so motivated. <laughs> Daniel enjoys outdoors and sports. In fact, he can get very involved in sports, perhaps even agitated, until he remembers or is reminded, after all, that it's just a game. Daniel is inventive and creative and has contributed so much to my collection of little toys which spin and fly and pop and crack. Amy Martin, Amy always seems to enjoy schoolwork and books. In fact, her backpack looks so full cool sometimes that I'm forced to make remarks like, that's a big back backpack for a little girl. I don't think she really appreciated that. In fact, she accused me of being like her dad in that regard. <laughs> Whether or not that's a compliment, I'll let you discern. But Amy is a deep thinker who can grasp abstract ideas. She's courageous and she likes the outdoors. And she once brought decorative gourds to school, and I had a number of them on my desk for some time. But I'll tell you more about those gourds a little later. Gloria Grigorutza. Gloria tends to be rather slow and frowning in the morning. But she soon warms up. By midday, she is alert and carefully scanning every item on the top of my desk. What are you looking for, I ask. Forthright as usual, Gloria just sighs and admits, I guess I was just looking for something to criticize. <laughs> well, you come to the right place, I said. Gloria will usually have good ideas accompanied by strong opinions, which is a formidable combination. One, time, one lunchtime, Gloria described to the class the adventure she had in learning to ice skate. I started to fall, so I just panicked and grabbed for anything, and the anything happened to be the sweater of another skater. As I went down, I looked up into the shocked face of this fat man who was gasping in dismay as I stretched his sweater to the ice. Of course, when Gloria tells her scandalous tales, there's one student who restrains her by saying in a motherly tone, Gloria. And of course that student is Kayla Groff. <laughs> so let's get back to Amy's gourds. Some of the gourds dried, but one of them rotted. And Kayla called our attention to the whitish leakage as she held the gourd over the waste tank. Look at this! Doesn't this look just like hand lotion? <laughs> so that's where that stuff comes from. <laughs> I've been teaching all these years, but I never really knew that. And in the course of a story that she is telling, Kayla sometimes laughs uproariously, so much so she can hardly speak. But when she finally regains the power of speech, guess what she was trying to say? I'm serious! <laughs> Kayla brings a spirit of cooperation and has been a blessing to our class. Julia Fortuna. Julia likes to discuss politics and at times present some unconventional points of view, at, this, at least for this part of the country. And she did learn a lot of new words this year. What does this word camp again mean, she asked of a news article. So we explained to Julia the word is campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Julia is very alert. She advises me on my wardrobe. Don't you think your fingernails are a little too short? She asked me once. And one time she raised her hand during morning devotions and sweetly said, I think Donovan's shirt is on inside out. <laughs> it was. 
<laughs> Yet as learned as she is, Julie could not always keep track of a fast-paced schedule. Picture this scene. We're all eating lunch in the classroom. Everyone is engaged in lively conversation, except for Julia, who is engrossed in a fact book. The lunch period ends, and all the students proceed across the hallway, except Julia, who's still reading. Suddenly, she looks up. Where is everybody? <laughs> she grabs the bag of pretzels remaining from her lunch to take along the science class. She starts out the room, but then she notices on her desk the empty sandwich wrapper, which needs to be thrown away. So she rushes back to her desk and grabs the wrapper. And as she passes the waste can, she accidentally throws in the bag of pretzels. <laughs> the empty wrapper. Now off to science class. 60 seconds later, an agitated Julia comes running back. Where are my pretzels? <laughs> she takes around the waste can for them, and now she can finally go to the science class. <laughs> Joelle Ballinger. Joelle loves music, and she loves life. She has a positive, cheerful outlook that will take her far in life. I can hear Joelle laughing from great distance. <laughs> but she is that type of responsible person that every class needs a few of. She helps to hold things together. When her classmates need encouragement, she says, come on, guys. And when they become too childish, it's more like, come on, guys. <laughs> Which means, let's get on with it. Let's do it. But to all of you, I just want to bless you as you go from game to school. You will learn many more things than you have learned here. And I hope you always remember the basics. That is to love God, to love one another, to love others. You will do great things for the Lord. And so I think I can join with Joelle in saying to all of you, come on guys, be the best, and go for the best, and to the glory of God. That's it. Come on guys. <laughs>
Michaela Marie Gruff. especially, and we encourage you to keep on with your, your class motto there, moving on, and as you've been encouraged tonight to move on with Jesus, so things will be better for you. So again, congratulations, and I'll be with you as you continue on your life.
good evening. Uh, I appreciated how uh, the whole evening was centered toward honoring and, and glorifying Jesus Christ uh, as each of these students received the uh, awards and their diplomas. And, uh, as they. Thank you. 